Hey YouTube, today we're going to be checking out how different Linux Mint desktop environments stack up against each other in some different gaming benchmarks. And we're going to give this YouTube commenter the credit for that. So let's check it out, shall we? This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. Okay, first off, I know nothing about this game, Ascended Gods, but it's supposedly coming to early access, according to its Steam page. But they had a free benchmark tool, and it looked interesting, so I downloaded it. And, well, as you can see here in our test suite, it looks absolutely nuts. They have way too many things going on on the screen, in my personal opinion. But what do I know? Let's go look at the numbers. Needless to say, I won't be playing this game at 1080p anytime soon, according to their benchmark, with any of our Linux environments. We start out with Cinnamon only getting 5.8 average FPS after 6 passes. Then we have in second place Mate with 9.2 FPS. And since I know it's going to make you all very angry, we have X-Face. They came in first with 10.2 FPS after six passes. And yes, I said X face. We can see here yet again with max frames per second that X face comes in first with 13.5 frames average after six passes, followed closely by Mate with 12.8 average after six passes, and Cinnamon in last place with only 9.7 average frames per second after six passes. As you can see here in the Black Myth Wukong benchmark tool, Cinnamon actually takes the lead in average FPS after six passes. Cinnamon gets 93 frames per second. Mate comes in second and has 92 frames per second. And XFCE, or as I've been calling it, X-Face, has 87 average frames per second after six passes. Then for max FPS, we have Cinnamon rocking 106.7 FPS, X-Face getting 100.8 FPS, and Mate having 105.8 FPS all after six passes. And let's, let me say right now, if we can get 100 YouTube subscribers before October 31st, 2025, I will purchase and live stream Black Myth Wukong from our test rig sometime still this year. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, will ya? Now let's take a quick peek at our minimum FPS for Black Myth Wukong benchmark tool. Cinnamon comes out on top with 73.5 average frames per second after 6 passes. Mate still in 2nd place with 72.2. And X-Face in 3rd with 65.3 FPS after 6 passes. Here in Easy Bench. It's basically tied, I would say. So, Cinnamon had a score of 668, X-Face had a score of 666, and Mate had a score of 670.7, all after six passes. So, I'd say they're pretty much tied. Next up, let's look at the Game Tech Benchmark Tool. For this benchmark, I only ran each of these five times because I was getting really tired and had a screaming baby in the background that I needed to go take care of. But we had Mate coming in first place with 512.2 on its score, X-Face having a score of 510, and Cinnamon coming in last with a score of 453.8. Looking at 3D Mark's Fire Strike, Cinnamon came in first with a score of 15,513.2. Mate barely came in second with 15,266.7. And right behind it, we had X Face with 15,218.8. I'm going to gloss over both of these charts real quick, but if you want, you can pause and squint at your screens. The top one is the Biohazard Resident Evil benchmark tool, and the bottom one is the Bright Infinity Memory benchmark tool. So let's talk about which Linux Mint environment is best for you. Cinnamon is heavier on resources, but it's newer, and it has more features. What those features are? I don't know. I haven't really seen the difference between the features that 
Cinnamon has versus X-Face. But maybe someone can tell us down in the comments. Mate is older. It has an older looking UI, but it works better on hard drives and doesn't really use that much RAM by today's comparisons. X-Face also works good on older hardware. It uses minimal resources and it might actually be better in some games. I don't have any good graphs or charts for this, but we do have some numbers here that might help us determine what type of GPU would work best for which environment here on Linux Mint. So let's take a peek at these real quick. So I have, um, with the help of AI, because hashtag AI, we have the HD 500 and 600 over on the AMD side of the GPUs. That's going to work well with X-Face, but it's going to be best with Mate. And then if we move up a generation, so this is going to be our HD 7000 or R7 and R9 GPUs from AMD. Mate still works good, but X-Face is preferred. If we then go to our RX 400 and 500 series of GPUs, those are going to work great along all versions of Linux Mint. And then from there on, our Vega and our iGPUs from AMD, supposedly Cinnamon's going to work best. I don't know how I feel about Cinnamon working best with an iGPU for gaming, but it probably would work fine for just your everyday tasks. And then we have our RX 5000 through now, 9,000 RX GPUs. Those are all going to work great with Cinnamon. And then popping over to the NVIDIA side of things, our GeForce 8, 9, and then our, any of our Tesla architecture. So this is going to be like 2006 to early 2009, or late 2009 rather. The X-Face only. Just stick with that. GeForce 4 and 500, you can use X-Face, but Mate is the preferred option. And then if we go up a generation to our GeForce 6 and 700 GPUs, Mate will work, but X-Face is going to be a little more stable, so it's safer overall to use. And then if we go to our GeForce 900 GPUs, Cinnamon or Mate will work fine. And then Anything from GeForce 10, so 10 and up, we're thinking uh, Cinnamon is going to be the best choice for you. Thanks, YouTube. Make sure to smash that subscribe button to help us get to 100 subscribers by the end of October. Also, don't forget to tune back in because I'm going to be doing a video on Tiny Core Linux, a version of Linux that only needs 17 megabytes to run. Won't that be interesting? See you then.